Hey guys, what's up? This is Mumbai Karnikhil and I'm getting a lot of questions regarding which fuel you should use for your RC and Duke 200 and 390. So what I'm gonna do, I'll explain you in a technical and as well as a simple way that which fuel is good for your bike. Okay, so the higher the ratio, the better the engine is able to turn heat into mechanical work. Or in more complex words, the same combus combustion temperature can be reached with a small amount of air uh, fuel mixture as in it allows the engine to more efficiently overall makes more power and run a bit cooler and so forth the downside of high compressions are also more sensitive to lower octane and impure fuel uh, descending quickly into detonation or pinking in the ktm 390 case the higher compression is one of the reason why the engine produces uh, such great power and torque and at the same time economy is not significantly different from 200 uh, the science of uh, it is that the higher compression ratio on an engine, the more sensitive the engine becomes to the quality of the fuel. Now the bad fuel basically won't ignite or burn as clearly as eventually can cause uh, pinging and detonation which slowly eats the engine. Uh, we all know that KTM has a high compression ratio, uh, though high performance production engine do uh, go higher. However, KTM has run this kind of compression for a while now. Uh, the Duke 125 has a similar high compression ratio. And now high octane fuel burns slower than compared to the uh, low octane fuel. The slow burns prevent uh, engine knocks when cylinder pressure are high. So if your engine runs well and does not knock or ping on low octane fuel, there is no advantage in switching to high octane fuel. If your engine knocks or ping, it does not uh, necessarily mean that something is wrong with the fuel. Uh, it could be a problem with the engine's electronic control system, uh, ignition timing or exhaust uh, gas uh, recirculation. Uh, on a high mileage engine, a carbon builds up in the cylinder, can increase a cylinder pressure and cause uh, knocks. So buying a fuel with a higher octane rating than the owner manual recommends is a waste of money. It is co commonly believed that the, uh, that the higher octane fuel uh, gives an engine more power but uh, guys it is not true. While it is often uh, true that high performance uh, superbikes like R1, Kawasaki Z14R and so on needs to use very high octane fuel it is because they are using a very high compression ratio to obtain the uh, obtain their uh, high horsepower. High, high compression ratio is equal to more power but at a cost. So for your KTM 200 um, and 390 both RC and Duke uh, unless you are hearing a ping, a knock etc from your engine uh, during hard acceleration a high, a high octane fuel is no benefit at all and according to the manual uh, you don't need uh, to use an high octane uh, fuel you can use a normal octane fuel however if uh, some of you wants to use a high octane fuel you can go for it but it will not do any good for your engine yeah, just make sure your your the fuel which you're using is is clean because some of the petrol pump don't serve uh, clean petrol they have a lot of uh, dust particles in that uh, fuel so uh, i hope i have answered your questions and if you have any questions uh, you can comment uh, down below thank you for watching my video you can click here somewhere to watch my other videos and keep subscribed uh, thank you shabak hair bye bye take care